I was entering my valley from the things that got away from me. Got away with it. I wasn't a lottery there. I wasn't going to steal my tickets first. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to act like that. Mike Check. I wasn't going to make a million in there. I wasn't going to steal my tickets first. Probably the same idiot that took a lottery off that. Right? Okay. I don't disagree. The idiot, the idiot that drives that yellow one, right? It's called, it's called Indian. Okay. Indian you, again, you're not, you're not talking to me. It's all Indian. It's like a ranch. He has a problem with black people, black men anyway, continually discriminating against them, picking them out of, out of the store. Some of them not familiar how to have them. It's just way too right? Uh-huh. And the black woman comes up and feels up in the face of the culture. He doesn't have a husband or a boyfriend. He's in their face, right? Mm-hmm. And the black woman, you see a very black male, he comes in there, he's discriminating against them. Right. Um, I don't I don't like it when I see it, right? Watch this. Lamentations 417. I knew it was in Lamentations. The Children of Israel Ministries. We're located in the four hour scenario. We come out to show you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, who you are according to the Bible. That's right. According to the Bible, you're not African Americans. According to the Bible, you're Israelites. Brother was just sharing with us about the, about the story over there, saying, hey, this is how they're treating us. They're not treating us fairly. They're not treating us properly, right? Go back to where you came from. Go back to where you came from. Go ahead, go Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. It's the book of Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 17. As for us, our eyes are yet failed for our vain help. Our eyes are yet failed. And my man, my man, I told you I was looking for a scripture to respond to you, right? Here it is. Listen, read it again. This is the book of Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, as for us, as for you, as for me, as for this brother right here, as for as for us, read. Our eyes are yet failed for our vain help. Our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. You went to the to the courts and, and trying to file petitions and you, you coming across some roadblocks, right? For our vain help. Read it again. As for us, our eyes are yet failed for our vain help. We in our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. You hear what he just said? In our watching, we have watched for a nation that cannot save us. Read that part again. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. That cannot save us. So no matter if you go, no matter if you go to the courts or what have you, these folks are not going to save us. We're not going to get reparations. We're not going to get the justice that we that we seek. When we march up and down the streets, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace. Read that again. Lamentations 4 and 17. As for us. As for our, us, go on. Our eyes are yet failed for our vain help. Uh-huh. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. We have watched for a nation that could not save us. Who rules this country right here? Folks that look like you and I, or folks that don't look like you and I? Folks that don't look like you and I, those are the folks that run this nation. Let me be more frank. Caucasians run this nation. When you go to Clayton to file your documents, you're not filing when you, what you just shared with me seconds ago. You said the black folks that work there, they will deal with you every now and then. But if the black folks are not inside them, you get no help. You get no service. Right? Read it again. Lamentations 4 and 17. As for us, our eyes are yet failed for our vain help. Go on. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Read on. They hunt our steps. They hunt our steps. This is why we get gunned down. This is why we get a knee put in our neck. This is why there is no justice. They justify everything that they do against us. The white woman, the white police officer, 
that went into the house and killed the person. The judge came off her seat and gave her a hug. The, po the other police, the black police officer was uh, fixing her hair. Read that last part again. They hunt our steps. They hunt our steps, right? There is no justice for us. Go on. That we cannot go in our streets. We cannot go. That we cannot go in our own streets. We know. Our end is near. Uh huh. Our days are fulfilled. Our end is near. And our days are fulfilled. Right. Go ahead. Read. For our end is come. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Keep going. Our persecutors are swifter than eagles. Our persecutors are swifter than eagles. Our persecutors are swifter than eagles. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Read from here. Read from there. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 all these things are happening to us not just because there's a reason why these things are happening to us give me Deuteronomy 28 15 it's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15 Read. but it shall come to pass uh -huh. that if we will it but it shall come to pass if thou were not hearkening to the voice, if the children, if you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, if you will not hearken, if you will not listen, read. If you will not, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm. to observe to do all his commandments. To do to observe to do all his commandments. We don't follow all his commandments. Give me Exodus chapter 20 verse 8 Exodus chapter 20 verse 8 we don't follow the Lord's commandment we I'm talking about so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans we I'm talking about so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans because the Bible is formed you so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans that's right read this is Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8 Remember the Sabbath day. What is today? What's today? Today is the Sabbath day, but it's the third Sabbath day. That is who, when you say there, Saturday to Sunday by the Roman Empire. Okay, but let me ask you this. The original Sabbath day was Saturday. Let me ask you this. What does God look like? A brother's crossing the street right now with the red and the blue shirt. What does, what God... He's everybody. That means so you saying he, he's rainbow color? <laughs> Come on now, make it plain. All right, all praises. All praises. We want to know what God looked like. The Father. The Father of all things. What does he look like? God looks like you. He look like me. God look like me. Okay, he look God like you. God look like him. God look like him. Okay. Does God. he look like the white man? <laughs> Do, does he look like the Arab man? Yes, all of that. He does. God says, I am. Check man, this out. Man. Watch this now. <laughs> give, me, give, me, give me Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. What does the Father look like? What does God look like? Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. Are you getting the physical aspects of the Bible? The physical! I thought you were talking about bigger than that now. But you just got to keep mind well, that before the physical was created. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to, you say you, you, you want me to go, go, go bigger than that. And I will go nothing. bigger than that, but we got to start, and there was no we got to start at the ground level. Me. It's the book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, meaning all the other kingdoms, all the other nations. Read. And the Ancient of Days. The Ancient of Days is a capital A. We capitalize pronouns. Correct? The Ancient of Days. This, but the translation. The, the, the translation in and of itself, too many scholars. 
too many scholars have come 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 and and show the evidence that the translation is still intact. So the capital means something more than the lowercase. Like the capital G means God. So the lowercase G means God. Son. Correct. So right the capital A is right. So the capital A we are talking about the Father. Ancient of times because he has no time, no beginning of time. I'm sorry, ancient of days is what it says. Ancient of days is what it says, right? Right, so read it again. Okay, this is love. It's the book of Daniel, chapter 7, and verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, uh -huh. and the ancient of days did sit. He sat. If he sat, he has a body, right? He has a throne, right? Read. Whose garment was white as snow. Whose garment, so if he had on a garment, he has a body. This is the Old Testament. Read. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. The hair on his head was Negro hair. Now I'd be willing to bet. When you were a little bit younger, when you were a little bit younger, you grew your hair out. And you have what we know. You have you have hair that look like. I bet that's what your hair looks like. Oh All my kids' hair look like this. Absolutely. But this that ain't that that doesn't fit. Read it again. Read that part again. So why are we why are we about the genealogy of? Look, I was having a discussion with the brother right here. Here's here's why I was having a discussion with the brother. We're talking. He he, he was sharing with us. The brother was sharing that the owners across the street won't allow him into their place of business. And that he went to the courts to file against them because he feels it's a, a, a case of discrimination. Okay? Now... What was behind... He said that. He said that. He said that. He said that. Was it behind his hair looking like this? Or was it because... Or spoke in a word... Well, I, I understand. I understand what you're getting at. And I'm pro-black. Now, what he shared... Walk on the white carpet with dirty shoes and then jump back. Absolutely. Absolutely. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. So, what we're trying to get at. Do you know what your race is according to the Bible? You should... Your race, according to the Bible, is that you are an Israelite. Okay? According to the Bible, you are an Israelite. And according to the Bible, because you identify as an African American. Is that true or false? Let me, let me, let me establish some, some... Okay. So... Okay, good. Understand. So, you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Go back to Zephaniah 4 and 17. Are, is the is the is the is the African the so-called African American is he oppressed? But by faith right, I am Gentile. There's no such thing as a faith right. There's no such thing as a faith right. I know so. Now that I think, it's I'm confident. Because so, so you think we still under the law? The, the letter key and stuff. If you have no faith in Christ, because Christ died for our sins and we covered in the blood of Jesus. So, so watch this. Bad, we're still under the law. Check me out. Check if me out. In one part of it, you the let me ask. Okay, let me ask you this. We as a race of people, we as a race, is there a justice for us? The last 400 years, is, is there justice for us? So you say no. So the point of what the brother was sharing is that there is no justice. That was, the, so regardless of the, of the particulars of his story, and particulars matter, but Regardless of the particulars, there's no justice for us. Read what you got. 
Watch this, watch this. So I can show you where, I'm, where, where we're going in all this. Okay. <laughs> Read it real quick for the brother. 417, Zephaniah 417. Uh, 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 uh. Nah, not Zephaniah. Ah. Um, no. Uh. Lamentations 417. Come on, help me out. <laughs> Stay with me. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. Here we go. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4, and verse 17. Next page. As for us, our eyes are yet fell for vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. So me talking about the color of Christ, or talking about the color of the Father. This book is only for a certain people. It's not for all people. God is not, when God said uh, in, in John chapter 3 verse 16, right? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That's not talking about all inhabitants of earth. And we can break it down. We can explain it. Right? Hebrews. Uh, that's, we are, John is the New Testament. Everybody. Hebrews. Give me Hebrews 8 and 7. Everybody. I got to go feed my grandma. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're going to keep on preaching. All right, man. Take one of these. Appreciate you, brother. Take one of these. Hebrews 8 and 7. Come on. Come on. Quick. Quick. Eight and seven. Seven. All praises. All praises. Hebrews 8 and 7. This is Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 7. Read. For if that first covenant had been faultless. The first covenant was with the children of Israel. The, you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Then should no place have been sought for the second. Uh huh. So the second covenant is likewise with the children of Israel. Read. For finding fault with them, he, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. With the house of who? Israel. With the house of all people. Israel. Read. And with the house of Judah. And with the house of Judah. The northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. This book, the promises of this book is for the children of Israel. My man said, I am of the faith of the Gentiles. There is no such thing. There is no such thing. If you're seeking salvation, if you're seeking righteousness, my man, you read the book? You know what your nationality is according to the Bible? You good. That's, give me Reverend, give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Our people constantly run from the Bible. They constantly, constantly, when the greatest book is for them, they run, they run, they run, our people, nonstop. Why? Because they want to get into whoredom. Why? They want to get into drugs. Why? They want to get into liquor. Why? They want to get into murder. Why? They want to get into thievery. Why? They want to get into doing their old dog old thing. Isaiah 1 and 3. Isaiah 1 and 3. The book of Isaiah. Book of Isaiah, chapter one and verse three. Read. The ox knoweth this owner. The ox knoweth this owner. A dumb animal. Read. And the ass his master's crib. And the ass his master's crib. Another dumb animal. Read. But Israel does not know. But Israel does not know. Israel don't know. Israel don't even care to learn who they are. To learn what the promises are. To go, go to Romans chapter 9, verse uh, 4. Romans chapter 9, verse 4. Here we come bringing the greatest information to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to wake you up out of slumber, to wake you up out of deadness. Read. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 4. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? 
You so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Uh, pull back one verse. All right. This is uh, Romans chapter 9 and verse 2. 3. 3. For I could wish that myself were cursed from Christ. Uh huh. This is Paul talking. Go ahead. For my brethren. For my brethren. You so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. For my brethren. Go on. My kinsmen according to the flesh. My what? My kinsmen according to the flesh. So Paul was talking to you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Go on. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Me. To whom pertains the adoption? Uh huh. This part I wanted to get to. It's this belongs to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This belongs to the Israelites. Read that part loud and strong. This is Romans chapter nine and verse four. Who are Israelites? Uh huh. To whom pertains the adoption? To whom pertains the adoptions? What adoptions? The right back to the Father. The right to be with the Father. Go on. To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory? Uh huh. And the covenants. And the covenants. The covenant is only with the children of Israel. The covenant is no other people on the planet Earth. The covenant is only with the children of Israel. And what does that covenant give us right to? It gives us right to land. It gives us right to control the dog on earth. That's what the covenant promise gives us. To prove that, hold that revelation, hold it. Give me Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. Book of Revelation, chapter 2, and verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Will I give what? Power over the nations. So you walk away from having power over the nations. You walk away from having power over the nations. We come out here every single week just about. And if people just go, come and go, come and go, come and go, come and go. Keep reading. Revelation, Revelation. Two and twenty-six. Start at twenty-six at the top. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Over the nations. Go on. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Uh huh. As the vessels of a potter. As the vessels of a potter. You break that that uh, vase, it shatters into tiny pieces. You break that vase, it breaks into tiny pieces. Keep going. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessel of a potter, shall they broke shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. How you doing, my man? Let me ask you a question. What, what's your nationality according to the Bible? Wow. Wow. That's what we're talking about. Our people run from, from free information. From free information, our people run. Run from knowledge. Like, we got a bucket out here saying, hey, give me your tithes. <laughs> give me your offering. <laughs> give me a dollar. <laughs> Come, come give us some money. My electric bill off. We ain't asked for a, a, not even a penny we're from just, the people. We're just asking y'all to lend us an ear. Do you, we asking, hey, do you know this information? Give me a... Uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. Book of, this is the book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 5. These 12 Jesus sent forth a command to them saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, uh -huh. 
and into any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And so here we are on the street corner to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Because the lost sheep of the house of Israel is talking about you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The lost sheep of Israel is talking about you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's who the lost sheep are. The children of Israel are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Keep reading. Right. And then she go preach, saying. What'd you say, my man? Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Had a book or something I could read. Absolutely, right here. Right. right on, my man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Right, 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 right. All right, man. Keep reading. Seven. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Because right now, we are not in heaven. Right now, we are in hell. When you look at the condition, of the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, the condition of the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American is one of hell. Our condition is very low. Our condition is very low. Keep reading. Heal the sick. Heal the sick, no. Cleanse the lepers. Uh -huh. Raise the dead. Okay. Cast out devils. Cast out devils. You know, God said, I didn't give you the spirit, of, the spirit of fear, right? So when you got a spirit of fear on you, you got a devil on you. When you have a spirit of fear on you, you have a, you have a devil on you. He said, cast out devils. When you are afraid to listen to free knowledge. Free knowledge. Why are you afraid? Because you're afraid it's going to it's gonna tell you something to change your life. Free knowledge. Keep reading. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received. Freely give. Freely, you and I, we have received. Freely we give. We don't have a bucket out here asking the people, hey, give me money, give me tithes. But your Christian church, tomorrow morning, gonna tell you, bring me all the tithes in the storehouse. When a man robbed God, hmm. and you gonna, my man gonna happy, happily uh, 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 go to church tomorrow, and when the pastor read that passage in Malachi, mm -hmm. gonna happily give his money to the pastor. Not knowing that that's not even what tithes is. Let's tell the people what tithes is. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 14. Let's share with the people what tithes is. Deuteronomy uh, yep, chapter 14. And starting at verse 22. Right. Hey, my man, let me ask you a question. Do, do, you, do you tithe on Sunday? Do you give tithes on Sunday? You do? Check this out. All right. Hey, my man with the, uh, with the um, walking in the store, do you give tithes on Sunday? To yourself? Okay. Do you know what? You don't go to church. Okay, check this out. Like you, you've heard the pastor say, give me your tithes though, right? Uh, go ahead, read. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 22. Thou shalt truly tithe uh -huh. all thine increase of thy seed. All thy increase of thy seed. All the increase of thy seed. All the increase of thy seed. Go on. That the field bring forth year by year. Uh -huh. And thou shalt eat before the Lord 
thy God. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It said, and you shall eat. And thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God. No, no, it can't say that. It, it must say that we got to make sure that the pastor is able to drive around in a pink Cadillac. And thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God. And thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God. Go on. In the place which he shall choose to place his name. Uh-huh. To place his name there. The tithe of thy corn. The tithe of thy corn. Go ahead. Of thy wine. Go ahead. And of thy oil. And of thy oil. Go ahead. And the firstlings of thy herds. Uh-huh. And of the tithe. Uh, and of thy flocks. Sorry about that. That thou mayest learn to fear the Lord thy God always. Always. Keep going. And if the way be too long for thee, so that thou art not able to carry it, or if the place be too far for, for thee, which the Lord thy God shall choose to set his name there, when the Lord thy God has blessed thee, then shall thou turn into turn it into money, and bind up the money in thy hand, and shall go into the place which the Lord thy God choose, or shall choose. And thou shalt bestow, yes, thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy soul lusted after. That's right. So tithe is not money. Tithe is, is your seed, your corn. Sis, let me ask you a question. What color was Jesus Christ? All praises. What's your race according to the Bible? According to the Bible, what's huh? What did your driver? How does your driver's license identify you as as an African American, black? What does your driver's license say? Say again. What she say? Say it a little bit louder for me. Still. Oh, you're Native American. You're Native. Okay. You're Native American. Huh? <laughs> you're learning. Okay. So check it out. Native Americans, right? They are of the tribe of God according to the Bible. That's right. Native Americans are Israelites that the Bible speak of. <laughs> right? So you're an Israelite. Give me, watch this. Come over here. Come over here so, so I can hear you better. No problem. Give me, give me 2nd Ezra chapter 13. 2nd Ezra chapter 13, start at verse 41. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Gad, based on what you're telling me, right? We're gonna read it to you, so it ain't just my words, but it's coming from a book. Chapter 13, verse 40, start at the top. Let me read it. Second Ezra, chapter 13, verse 40. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king, whom Salmanazar the king of Assyria led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would lead the multitude of the heathen, heathen meaning other, other nations, and go forth into a further country where never mankind had dwelt. What land was that? The Americas. That they might there keep their statutes which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. For the Most High then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. For through that country there were a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. And the same region is called Osirith. Christopher Columbus 
called that land, according to the Jewish encyclopedia, and Jewish encyclopedia, he called that, that word, Arsenal, he called it America. So these people that first came into the Americas, the Native Americans, they're Israelites. They're historical books that also tell the same story, right? So based on what you shared, you and Israelite from the tribe of Gad. That's right. All praises to the most high for that, right? That's so right. now, do you know what we're over here uh, uh, teaching? Why we're over here uh, giving this education to the people? Say again. Speak loud for me. <laughs> All praise. All praise. Check it out. Give me Acts chapter 3, verse 16. <laughs> Check it out. Acts chapter 3 verse 16, right? Yeah, it's 16 or 19. Be sure that's what I want. See the 16 or 19. 16 or 19. 19, 19, 19. Okay. Okay, this is the book of this is the book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore. Yeah and be converted and be converted the bible is telling so now that you know that you're an israelite the bible is saying that these these folks you most of the people on this parking lot we're israelites we don't know it most of us don't know that and so we go about our day living our life the way we want to live our life right we get into relationships that mean us no well we get into business opportunities that mean us no well. We follow money that mean us no well. And the Bible said, read it again. Repent ye therefore and be converted. And be converted, right? Keep reading. That your sins may be blotted out. That your sins may be blotted out. Do you know what sin is? You do know what sin is? All praises, we're gonna read it for the people. Give me what sin is. Oh, oh. Well, check this out. We're going to read the biblical definition of sin. All right? Yes, sir. First John. Chapter 3 and verse 4. Read. This is the book of First John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. The law? For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. When we read this book, there are laws in here that we're supposed to uh, live according to, right? When we fail to live according to these laws, we find ourselves in the midst of sin. We are transgressing the law. You cannot have a civilized nation without laws. Correct? Even in the United States, there are laws that govern how we do, how we go about. You got family law, family court laws, you got um, residential laws, you... Right, so do you, well, I'm speaking specifically about what's documented on the books. Right? You have, you have all kind of laws on the books. These laws are documented for us and how we're supposed to conduct ourselves living one with another, right? That's right. So like, as, as a man, I'm not supposed to be with another man's wife. That's a law, right? I can't, I, the Bible tells me I can't live my life according to that way. So what, so the thing is, I need to find out which law am I breaking? Because when I'm breaking one of these laws, change it for me. Change it for me. When I'm breaking one of these laws, now I'm taking the Most High God off, right? 
So watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. The book of, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15, 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The Bible says, if you won't listen unto the voice of the Most High God, meaning these laws that he gave us, we won't listen and, and apply it to our life and live according to it. We to observe, to do all his commandments. Uh -huh. All these laws that are in this book for us to live our life according to. Go on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Because we don't live our life according to this, the Bible says, I'm going to curse you. Not just you as an individual, you as a nation of people. I'm going to curse you as a nation of people is what's going to happen, right? Uh, give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse uh, 48. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore... shall thou serve thine enemies uh -huh. which, which the Lord shall send against thee which the Lord shall send against thee right and so we serve our enemies we serve our enemies there's a report right now that says that in America the black race works more hours than any other people on this land on the soil the black race works more hours than any other people in this country Read on. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh -huh. In hunger. In hunger. And in thirst. In thirst. Go on. And in nakedness. Uh huh. And in want of all things. In want of all things, we serve the enemy. In want of all things, we serve the enemy. Go ahead. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until. He have destroyed thee. And we are a destroyed race of people. We are a destroyed race of people. We are people that don't care about our own people. We, can't, we, we murder one another left and right. We encourage wickedness of one another left and right. We need to uh, begin this 1917. The biggest 1917. Look at Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. This, this, this is us. Because we have, we have hatred for one another. We have hatred for one another. But the Bible tells us we're not supposed to be this way. Read again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. We shall rebuke our neighbor and show our neighbor when our neighbor is going off. When our neighbor is not living according to the laws of the Most High God. Why? So that we can get the kingdom. That's right. So that we can get the kingdom. Give me Matthew chapter uh, 26 and 6. Matthew 26 and 6. It's the book of Matthew chapter 26 and verse 6. Now when Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment. We read this passage every single week we come out. Why? Because the Bible commands us to. We read it every time we come to the end of our time on this tree corner because the Bible commands us to. So here we are, we are following the commandments of the Most High God. We, we follow all of the commandments of the Most High God. To That's the right. To the best of our ability. 
Read. Now when, Je when Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he said at me. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she had wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always, for ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman has done be told for a memorial of her. And with that, we say shalom.